So first thing first, we are going to discuss about how does stick diffuser function. First, when we place a stick into a bottle of fragrant oil, the stick will absorb the oil over time due to the concentration gradient. The atoms of the oil will tend to migrate from the higher concentration, which is from the bottle, to the lower concentration, which is from the stick, into the sticks. And the oil from the sticks will disperse into the air because of the higher air circulation. The, and the application of stick diffuser met the requirement of interdiffusion. First, it has an empty adjacent site in the sticks. And second, at room temperature, it has sufficient energy to break the bonds and interchange the atom to the back adjacent vacant lattice site. Okay, so now we are going to look into how can the process of the diffuser be modeled. So the reeds, uh, actually it's quite simple. The reeds are wooden porous material that allow for capillary action. So the oil will reach up from the container up to the top of the reed. Then it will evaporate to the air. And another component for the this essential oil is the bottle that will contain the essential oil that will diffuse into the air through the reeds. So a very good alternative would be to put a cap on the bottle that has holes as shown in this picture that would only fit uh, the reeds so that uh, the essential oil would not be wasted. The aroma of it will not escape easily but only through the reeds so it will not be wasted. And another way to prevent wastage is to use a V-shaped uh, container that will allow for more efficient uh, diffusion. And this will allow all the essential oil to be used up easily. For the next question is, what is the claim made by the manufacturer? For this project, we use a lavender diffuser. The manufacturer claims that the diffuser will last 30 days uh, after it open, And the quantity is uh, 100 milliliter. Next is the process how we do the uh, testing on how long it will diffuse. First, we take 5 mm of the essential oil and fill it inside a measuring cylinder. Then we put 3 sticks inside the measuring cylinder and the time was taken instantly. Next, the volume of the essential oil is observed for every 24 hours. And next, the data is recorded using graph. So this is the picture of uh, how the experiment is done. Next question is how long does the diffuser last? This is the graph volume of liquid versus time graph and all the data we've been observed and recorded. The information we can get from this experiment is first, the essential oil is first placed in around 33 Celsius. The second is it took approximately 14 days for the essential oil to diffuse into the atmosphere. Within this rate, we assume that for 100 millimeter essential oil, it will take around 280 days to diffuse, not as the manufacturer claim, due to numerous reasons because it's around temperature and humidity and etc. So this is the calculation we assume, but not based on real life calculation, only assumption. Okay, first, first, factors of diffusion is temperature. So, diffusion rate of diffusion is affected by the room temperature as energy is needed to break the bond from its adjacent atoms for diffusion to occur. So, based on kinetic theory of matter, when the temperature increases, the kinetic energy in particle also increases so the movement of particle becomes faster and has higher rate of diffusion. Second is the diameter of the stick. So, based from the fixed second law, X in the formula represent as the diameter of the stick. When the diameter of the stick increase, the longer the time taken for the solid to diffuse rate. As the diameter of stick become thicker, the rate of diffusion need decrease because the particle need to diffuse between many more stick particles. And lastly, air movement. Uh, air movement can be measured as the velocity of the air. So when the velocity of air is higher, the temperature will be lower. Uh, and also vice versa, thus lower temperature will cause the energy of oil molecules decreases and the rate of diffusion will become slower, causing the scene of the oil is weaker and also vice versa for the higher temperature. Uh. Among the many alternatives that can be used in the placement of the oil diffuser, uh, some are jasmine and the pros of uh, jasmine is that it can help you uh, relieve your worry or nervousness or just make other than or make you feel down. And then the cons of it is that it costs a lot to extract it. And other than jasmine, it, it can be used uh, lime. And the pros of lime is that uh, it is inexpensive and it is good for your skins. But like for lime, the con is that it has a very short life. 
And uh, after it becomes uh, expired, it will become irritable to your skin. And the third one here, we have a uh, vanilla. Vanilla is good for the when you are like worked up or overwhelmed. It helps you relieve it, release it. And then it's also good for going to bed. And then uh, like also like uh, jasmine, it is a uh, very expensive. And here we have grapefruit. Grapefruit is also very good for your skins and for your nervousness. And then it has a high risk of skin sensation and has very short life.